So a lot of news organizations have been reaching out to me because the Ed Sheeran, Marvin Gaye lawsuit trial has begun, and it's a copyright infringement case based on whether Ed Sheeran appropriated music from Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On in his song, Thinking Out Loud. Now, four years ago, when it first came up, I made a video about it, and I did a comparison of the verse of the songs, which are similar. Let me play that for you. Baby, my trying to hold back this feeling for so long. Heart could still fall us. Okay, so what I did between the two tracks is I took the Marvin Gaye track and I transposed it down a half step so they'd be in the same key. But other than that, as you can see, the grooves and the vibe of both songs are pretty identical. I also did an analysis of the melody in this section. Let me play that for you. Let's take a look at bar one of Thinking Out Loud. Look at the melody here. So it starts on F sharp as compared to Let's Get It On, which starts on F sharp. But the rhythm of the melody is completely different. You can see that, obviously. There are 16th notes here. It goes F sharp, E, D. This goes down to F natural here. This bar is different. The G to A is different. In the next measure here, measure three, very different rhythm, different notes. Got this triplet figure here as opposed to these 16th, 8th, 16th. This has this interval jump. It's nothing, the, the melodies are nothing alike. I mean, you could say here in bar five, you have this 16th note on the and of two, F sharp to A, and then you have F sharp to G to A here. I mean, but that, that's a stretch. There's no comparison between the two melodies. Okay, now here's where the song differs. Marvin Gaye's song doesn't really have a chorus like the Ed Sheeran song. The Ed Sheeran song actually goes to a different section. Let me play it for you. I'm thinking about chorus. The Marvin Gaye song just stays on that same chord vamp and has the chorus over it. So it's a completely different chorus. So the question here is, is this stolen from the Marvin Gaye song? Do they have a, uh, a claim here? This is a really tough area. If you define the song as the melody and lyrics, I would say that the melody and the lyrics are not similar in the verse part, because definitely in the chorus, they're not similar at all. If you consider the song to be, let's say you have the verses and the chorus and each are weighted 50%, is Marvin Gaye entitled to 25% of the money of the song, right? Or ha splitting the verse, since the melodies are not the same, but the musical content is really borrowed from Marvin Gaye's. It is. I mean, there's just no question about it. The tracks are almost, you, you really can't tell where one changes to the other one, except for the snare is louder and the Ed Sheeran one. That's the only claim they have is actually to the musical backing track. And is that a valid claim? That's a valid claim if you're going to define it by that. Now, the Blurred Lines case wasn't even close. I, they, those songs were not even close, and they lost the case. I'm not sure what's going to happen in this. Do they owe them some money because it's because it was borrowed from it? Probably, yeah. They probably do. But, you know, where do you draw the line? So many things are derivative now. Do you copyright the arrangement? If you're going to go by what's happened in the past with the other lawsuit that happened then this one is definitely going to come out in favor of Marvin Gaye's estate, I would say. But he's de they're not entitled to all the money from the song. They're entitled to a small portion of it, in my opinion. 
I'm just one person. Like I said, a lot of people are reaching out to me for my opinion on this since I made that video four years ago. That's my opinion. So if they want to use any bit of this video, feel free to. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button right now and I'll let you know when my new videos are coming out. Other than that, leave your comments. Love to know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.